Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Elden Ring. Now, I wasn't exactly planning to start this part from here, but I was just passing through here and I found this guy. I have already met this guy before, but I cut it out from the video. And in the last part, this guy helped me fight the bloody finger over there. Ah, we meet again. Yeah, Neri just Is that it? Oh, that is it. So, yeah, welcome back to this part of Elden Ring. Uh, if I go up here, it will take me the place where I need to do the quest. But I'm not going to go there right now. I am going. I'm here to clear a cave, which is supposed to be here. I'm going to cut through the entire cave and just show you the boss room. Uh, so I'll just show you the boss fight because I'm pretty sure no one wants to see me be an idiot try to explore a random cave but let's see can I find a ch oh. these gargoyles are the staple enemies of most of these cases is there any place where I can Showcase the traps. Not what I was trying to do. Where, where did you come from? I already cleared that one, right? Okay, so that right there is a the boss room. You look like an enemy. I'm not going to lie. Wait. Is that the. That's the lever that is supposed to open the boss room. Uh, this turned out to be a way smaller cave than I expected. Usually there's like a fuckload of puzzles you need to go through. They just straight up gave me the lever. Okay. Is the boss supposed to be really tough or something? So if you see me spamming the magic shackle over and over, that is because these things look like fucking gargoyles who are going to attack me at any moment. This right here is a trap. If I step on it, I'm going to get attacked from some motherfuckers. Can you just the worst thing is they bleed me? So not what I was trying to do. I thought I had my heels on my hand. Uh, yeah, everyone jumps over and over now. And they got a bleed off. Son of a... I can do unsheath if I don't have mana. But... Okay. So the reason why I'm spamming Majet Cycle over and over is because in dungeons if there is a hidden room, like a secret door around, uh, you can use it to... What is that? Okay. Uh, one sec. Why are you after me? Yeah, the, you have two good old enemies over there. Why can't I hit you? There you go. Oof. I got a bleed off. I'm not the strongest enemy. I mean, I do have two immortal soldiers with me, but still not the strongest of enemies. Banish Knight Eng Wall. Okay. So that is it for <laughs> this cave. Uh, it turned out to be smaller than I expected. Usually these caves take like 15 minutes of exploring to actually find the lever. This one just had it in front of me. But this cave was not the main part of today's video. So the main part of today's video is, oh, we are supposed to not come here the way I came here <laughs> by the looks of it. We are supposed to fall down on those tombstones. But uh, 
the reason why we are here is not because of that the reason why we are here is because there is a guy called Kenneth somewhere around here uh, it's going to take me a while to find him but there is a guy called Kenneth around here he gives you a quest which requires you to go to oh I found another gimmick of the game which let me ex let me explain that as well but Kenneth gives you a quest you need for which you need to go and clear a fort uh, this video is going to be a short one because clearing the fort is all I'm going to do in this part so there are these paintings at different parts of the game. There were, I found one in Lindell, uh, not in Lindell, uh, in uh, what is this place called? Stormwell? Yeah, Stormwell. Lindell is a place which I got teleported to by in the at the end of last part. Uh, I found uh, another one of these in Sto Stormwell. What you need to do is you need to find the place where this uh, like image was taken from. This one I know already because there's a guide right next to me. Uh, it is right here, around here, somewhere, around this part, apart from where you can see this thing, I guess. But yeah, you just need to find that place. There is a ghost of the artist sitting there. He gives you some loot. Usually, it is smithing stones as a reward for finding the spot. Is Kenneth down there? He's supposed to be standing on one of those things. Doesn't seem to be here. Yeah, I'm going to be running around for a while trying to look for him. I will see you guys when I find him. Is that him? Oh yeah, it is. There he is. Who might be interested in rescuing the great Kenneth Height, servant to the true order and celebrated repudiator of the false. Oh. Grant me sucker. Okay, Google, what is sucker? Okay. Hello? Is anybody there? Someone who might be interested in rescuing the great Kenneth Height. Servant to the two. Does they keep saying this over and over until someone like comes to actually find him? <laughs> yeah, I am here. is very much appreciated even from a tarnished despite appearances nobility is no prerequisite to serving the true order you might have heard of me Kenneth Height next in line is the rightful ruler of Limgrave young tarnished I would have a boon of you I want you to take back my fort it lies to the south beyond the mistwood a knight commander from Stormvale took it a fool and plumb mad to boot. Simply obsessed with blood. What are you waiting for? My fort lies to the... Oh, I see. You wish to know the reward? Yes. Not. Everything the requires a reward. Else I'm not going to do it. His celebrations will be lavish indeed. Okay. So... Let me give you a spoiler about this game. 90% of this quest... <laughs> in 90% of the quests end horribly like there are very few quests wi which have a good ending in this game like I read a few of the quests some of them end with the guy who gives us a quest dying and us not receiving a reward like stuff like that but we are going to be clearing this entire fort today Oh god, uh, I should have probably sneaked in instead of running through the front gates in hindsight. Okay, uh, yeah, they are fighting each other. That's nice. That was a nice 2k. Okay, this guy, he is a guy who two shot me once okay he is decently strong um not that strong though okay so there is that guy up there and this guy okay i don't have my jump attack talisman anymore if i had that i could have one shot him Actually wait, 
No, I have extra strength now. Uh, there's three extra strength levels. Okay, there is no. I thought that thing was going to get up to attack me. There is something up there. Son of a. Okay, I thought. Blood roses. I got a few of these before. I didn't know the use for them. I know it now. You can use that to craft like blood, blood arrows, blood darts, and stuff, which causes blood buildup. And as you know, bleed is pretty strong in this game. Okay. Uh, not exactly strong, but uh, the numbers make up for it. Is there any secret rooms in here? No? Okay. Who was throwing shit at me from above? Explain. There is... Uh, so, to progress through this quest, we need to kill a knight commander of sorts. Are you the son of a bitch who was throwing shit at me? Are you the knight commander whom I'm supposed to kill? You look like... Oh! Yeah, okay, he is. He is using some sort of blood-based sword skill. Oh, I can summon here. Okay. No. No. I said no. Oh, God. Yeah, you know what. Take your time coming down. Oh, I did not expect him to do that. <laughs> I was like, take your time coming down to me. Are you bloody flash? Oh, this is a good one. Uh, so I am going to apply that one to my katana, my second katana, uchi katana. <laughs> uh, the thing with bloody things, bloody skills, is that they increase blood loss buildup. Also, I'm told I may be completely bullshitting here. But I think that is how it is supposed to work. I'm pretty sure I killed everyone. Why are you guys still here? Is there anyone left? Because... I'm pretty sure I have killed everyone. Unless there is someone up here. Is this the Decus medallion thing? It is. Okay. So this thing is what I require to move on to uh, Lindel. The place where I'm going to. There is a lift around here. I need to get two of those medallions to go up there. But I will go there after I kill the third major boss of the game. So... I'm just going to collect it for now. I'm pretty sure I killed everyone. Why are these guys not despawning yet? Because... You know what, let's go talk to Kenneth again. Where is he? There he is. Because from what I'm reading, you just need to kill that knight to finish the quest. Let's go talk to Kenneth. Hi. And please tell me I don't have to clear the entire castle again. Sup, buddy. Damn straight I did. Who do you think I am? Oh, it's still dagger. It is a... Uh, so it's stats. The dagger is garbage. Like, it is garbage. But it is a unique weapon. So... Like, okay. Let's see, where is it? Oh, it's still dagger. Reduvia, just like Reduvia, it is a unique weapon. Uh, it has a quick check ability, so that's decent. Uh, it is like an improved version of our regular dodge, but requires FP. But it is not the best of weapons, and there is no blood buildup, so what's even the point? Establish communication with the demi humans. What's that look? Well, under the earth tree, co mingling with the demi even the vulgar shall not be left behind, which is why I, Kenneth Height, just you one. 
Ah, would you like to enter? I see bright things in your future, stout warrior. Enter into my service and learn the working. And who knows? Perhaps sometime down the line, the grace of gold will return to those tarnished eyes of yours. Uh, I can already What's see the grace of gold, by the way. Accord. Just saying. Yeah, sure, why not? Well, I knew I saw something in you. I shall await you at my... You shall hold a ceremony for your knighting there. I see great things ahead of... Yeah, sure. Ceremony for my knighting. Let's go back to the fort, shall we? Let's hold a ceremony. Ceremony. Let's go hold it. This time I'm not going to run straight in. <laughs> Let's try to be at least a little sneaky. Oh, there's no enemies. Okay, then just run straight in. I can one shot them. Oh god. Yeah, and they are not strong. Uh, this is not like an end game area like the ones I've been running around at. <laughs> what just happened to that guy? One guy just flew across the screen. God damn it. This is why I hate fighting more than one enemy at once. They keep stun locking me. It happened to before as well when I was in Raya Lucaria. They stun locked me to death. You must have seen it by now, yes. The sorry state of my foot. Oh, indeed, it is a foul fate for a land to be without a ruler. One must be found with haste. And not that awful Godric, but a true and stalwart lord of the proper lineage to take the reins of Limgrave. I'm sorry to have lifted your hopes. But I haven't the authority to raise you to knighthood, as things stand. The great Kenneth Height issues his sincerest apology. But now, I must begin my search post-haste for a true and stalwart lord of the proper lineage to take the reins of Limgrave. Okay, so that is it for his quest for now. Um, the end of his quest gives us a really important item which is called let's see ancient dragon smithing stone which is used to like get our uchigatana to plus 25 <laughs> minus plus 3 right now it is an end game uh, item which we get for smithing uh, but to do that we have to finish another quest which is nafeli's quest if you remember nafeli she was the one who helped us fight godric in Stormvale, um, she has her own entire quest line. We can also go do her quest right now. How far am I into recording? I'm only 20 minutes into recording actually. Uh, I don't, I can't exactly do her entire quest here because from the looks of it, her quest is way, way longer than Kenneth's. Kenneth's quest had like five steps, hers has like 15. So yeah, uh, that's going to take a while, but she is somewhere around here. I saw that place where she was at when I was looking for this thing, converted tower. She's in the middle of a poison swamp or something. Uh, we can help her to kill a boss and there's also a cool secret guy. I saw a YouTube video on it a while ago. And while I'm in the round table, I should also upgrade my weapons. Hey, buddy. Well, I took you no matter it's lay out your arm. Yes. I have three of them. There we go. Wait. Back on no matter. Where's the Uchigatana? Wait, I have plus 5 Uchigatana. 
Why was I using the? Uh, I'm not even going to question it. I was using the <laughs> low level one. She is still here. Ah, yes. I wonder if you've met my fees in his study. If you haven't already, father is, I'm sure, to. So she is the one. It's about time I I'll see you again. Okay. I needed to talk to her once more. So I spent all that time looking for her. Okay, he basically told us that we can leave to Lindell now. But we are not going to. Okay, so now we can go and find her down here. <laughs> I just spent 15 minutes for nothing. Nothing. I hate myself for that. She should have spawned now. Under that bridge. Please tell me she's here. There she is. Oh, it's you. Well. What do you make of it? I witnessed a sight much the same in my infancy. The oppression of the weak. Murder and pillage unchecked. A waking nightmare. Me. But this time, I'm a woman grown. And though the suffering cannot be undone, I can still mete out justice. Justice to the oppressors. Let the scars I carve remind them. I am Nefeli Lu, warrior. Put this time under the okay. to the scars I so that is it. I'm going to skip through this entire village. I can't be bothered trying to kill all of those little guys. But this guy gives us a pretty good clue. Please, even if it is you, old Albus, hide well and still your breath. So he basically says that there is a guy hiding in a village. And I was looking through YouTube like uh I was looking through a lot of Elden Ring content, which is why I know about all these quests and stuff. And I was told about this guy who, was hi who is hiding in here. Oh. The thing he's using right there is called a perfume. We can use those as well. They're one of the crafted items. Wait, he can heal over and over? I thought he healed once and he was done. The man just keeps healing. And would you look at this? A weird looking pot. Now I wonder what would happen if I attack it. <laughs> Secrets lie with me, not a one. Oh, please leave me be. Wait, then you're not one of them. Well, what don't do mind you? me, just putting setting you on fire. Oh, goodness me, I am Albus and Alvinoric, as you can see, we're finished. The whole village is finished. The curse mongers have destroyed everything. No, we beg you. You must keep it out of the curse manual. Helictry medallion, right? If you should need, then please give it. I'd show the medallion to only a quaint but for dear. Now, this is a part. The medallion which I just got is part of another totally different quest, which leads to the hardest boss in Elden Ring. I saw a few videos of YouTubers fighting her. And my god, she seems difficult. Like, I have the only thing I have seen on YouTube is videos of people getting destroyed by her. So, uh, yeah. Wait. I was trying to destroy. You jump out. Oh, wait. So, yes, like. Okay. The only thing I've seen is videos of people getting destroyed by her. The, the name of the boss is called Melania. Just like Melina. Uh, who is our maiden but she is a boss one of the hardest bosses in the game who 
destroys people uh, there are two quests you need to do to get there you can only do one of them but doing both of them gives you a good reward by the looks of it so that's that uh, just like the Decus medallion which we got this is helictry medallion uh, helictry is another secret location which can only be accessed if you do a quest uh, just like Decker's medallion and uh, wait Decker's medallion is not part of a quest but helicopter medallion is a part of quest you can uh, it it locks an area behind it what am I saying I need sleep <laughs> by the looks of it but significantly nigger oh this is it this is the tier which everyone was talking about uh, I should use it instead of this one this tier uh, basically the way it works is it negates damage from any attack even if it's an attack that can one shot you it will negate the damage from it I have all the youtubers I saw were using this one so I'm going to switch to it as well that's saying uh, this is a medallion there are two parts of it to get the second part I need to do a, an entire quest but after uh, do completing a quest I can go to a secret area so that's that there's a boss in front of me right there and to fight him I can summon Nefeli if I'm not wrong so let's do that bosses do get twice like the hp of bosses gets doubled if you summon people still but the reason why i always summon them is not because it helps me fight them uh, that is pretty half the reason but uh, also because like it is part of like the game's law like summoning them is so i should probably summon them and there is I saw a dog down here I'm going to kill him first not a huge fan of them can I oh okay well I can't backstab him anymore I love humanoid enemies for this very reason is that they can get staggered unlike most of the others now what is happening to my graphics right now something is really messing up my graphics Yeah, he's getting hit on by four people. <laughs> okay, uh, how am I alive? I need to remember that I take... So, as I was saying, I need to remember that I take increased damage because of the talisman which I'm using. So, I can't get hit by attacks um, like, I'm, like a moron, like usual. So let's go and do the fight once again. This time, let's not be an idiot. I'm just going to skip through all the enemies this time. I just hope that these guys won't. I was in the middle. I was jumping, my guys. Yeah, you guys can live. I don't need to kill you. Okay. So as I was saying, I can't get hit by attacks as frequently as I did before. Like, before I was just like, yeah, I'm just going to get hit by this attack, it doesn't matter, I'm going to die again. I, I, sh it I don't even know how to explain myself here. <laughs> oh god. I was not paying attention at all. I was solely focused on my commentary. I didn't pay attention to what was going on on my screen. This is why I like moon well. <laughs> Just sit back like a little bitch. Oh, that is a strong attack. Get the fuck away from Nafeli. Wait. 
the fire on the ground hurts me. Are you serious? I thought that was just okay. I thought that fire on the ground was just part of like an environment change. I didn't ex expect it to like actually hurt me, but fair enough. Actually, I should have expected it to hurt me. I am standing on fire. Uh, I got a talisman from it. Let's see what is it. It reduces damage and impact of headshots. Uh, not a lot of enemies that actually manage to headshot me, sir. I'm guessing that is for PvP. There are little shits running around with bows in PvP. I'm guessing it is for them. But that is it for her quest for. Oh, I got a rune arc. What I was trying to talk about in the last part. It allows you to use the blessing. It basically allows you to activate the great rune. If I use it now, uh, all of my stats will increase by 5. But I'm going to use it before like one of the major boss fights. Uh, because if I die, uh, I will lose the buff. And there are very few of them in the game. So yeah. But I am going. that will be it for this part of Elden Ring. Uh, for in the next part, what I am going to think is we are going to go up top over here uh, to a place called Caria Manor that is also a place where we are going to start one of the major quests of the game which is Rani's quest which unlocks one of uh, arguably from what I have seen the best ending I try to stay away from spoilers about the ending but from what I have heard Rani's ending is one of the best endings of the game or rather the best ending of the game so we are going to complete her quest by going to a place called Karia Manor over here and another the blacksmith named EG is also up here and there's other other stuff which we are going to do but that will be it for this part of Elden Ring if you like the video please like and subscribe uh, more Elden Ring content will keep coming soon and see you guys later peace